Okay, so the fitting that you're going to need right here to, to, to uh, screw into the boss for the oil pressure sender is an M12 by 1.5 thread. Once you have that, you're probably you're going to need to, to get some hoses that will uh, connect and adapt to the motive uh, power filler. And we're going to oil system it to idle as 10 psi on this car. That's the spec anyway. And so that's what we set the pressure to on the filler. So now we've got oil, we've got the valve open, we've got oil flowing through the hose. And it's going into the engine. We put two quarts in the uh, power filler, so I know exactly how much more to add once uh, I need to top off the oil. It's going to take a few minutes for the oil to get up top, but once it, do, once it uh, gets here, we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so right now you can see the oil starting to flow. And we want to make sure we have this this top end completely lubricated. And then uh, don't worry about the oil, it's just going to drain back down into the oil pan once it leaves uh, the top end of the cylinder head. Don't forget, uh, as you pre-lube, you're going to have to pump the filler back up occasionally because you're losing pressure as you flow the oil up to the cylinder head. And there we see it starting to flow out of the other end of the cylinder head. And that's exactly what we want. coming up through the tappets on the exhaust side now let's see if we've got the same thing going on yep we've got the same thing going on on the uh, intake side as well we've got uh, oil flowing through the tappets and we're even getting oil uh, through the uh, vano sprockets. All right, so we've got the uh, Mini Cooper put together. Going very smoothly with the uh, cylinder head and the new valve. Got a little smoke coming off the exhaust manifold from handling it with my uh, with the hands. But other than that, set runs on. We'll be ready to take this out for a test. Uh, 